Alright, how's it going? <clears throat> Welcome back to the Bloodborne playthrough. Uh, so this is on PS4. I think in the last episode we just defeated Vicar Amelia. So I'm going to go straight to the uh, Grand Cathedral. Okay, and we checked out the uh, the cutscene last time. The departure of uh, the, the big guys, uh, Master Willem and Lawrence. Is that right? I may get her name wrong or two. Um, okay, so we're just going to continue. This time we're going to go to uh, another optional area. Fuck, oh, these guys hit hard. Actually, not that hard. It's mainly the uh, the frenzy that it causes from that weapon that hurts the most. Hopefully I haven't forgot how to play this game too much. Um, there are some... There's another optional area down that way, uh, which we will be going to a bit later on. We're going to go through both of these. Both of these sides of the cathedral are optional areas. We're going to take on both of these. Uh, so we're going to head this side first. Ah, oh, what was that we just picked up? Bloodshot eyeball materials used in a holy chalice ritual. Uh, an exquisite eyeball removed quickly after death, or perhaps even before, used to unlock the seal of the old labyrinth hinter tombs. Okay, let's head down this way. Yeah, kind of. I, I do like this area. Like, it has its good sides and its bad sides. Um, like it's uh, it's not really like th there's only one direction to go in this, but it's open, so I feel like it's bigger than it actually is. So I'm gonna be like running around from left to right, just trying to collect everything. Uh, now, how do I heal? Triangle. Yes. Triangles to heal. And we've got some new uh, new bad guys rising up from from somewhere. Over here. Can we get this guy to attack? Just want to pull him out this way a bit. Watch that stamina. <laughs> we both went for it. Damn you. Yeah, I'm using a lot of health potions for this. Like, one of the moves in this game, you have to kind of... <clears throat> well, which is a really big help, is the uh, is the jumping attack. I guess with a lot of these as well, it closes, uh, closes the distance quickly. one of those guys around there. Um, so let's try and take out these guys first. These are just kind of huddled around. Maybe we can get some... Oh, some mollies. I mean, at least we've got some shielding right from... Not even close. From these tombstones. <laughs> Man, that aim. Let's just throw it in. Didn't even take him out. I think that's gonna hit him. Let's just 
try and get some shots in. Oh, I get a triple hit. Fuck. I mean, I guess it's just like a little bit of timing. Try not to stand there and get hit in the face. Man, I'm going through these uh, shh, these uh, vials really quickly in this. I always forget I've got a gun as well. I could just uh, shoot them. All those uh, lovely items. Uh, just get around here. But yeah, just be aware of the tombstones. You can just use them to block the uh, the bullets. Like that guy. Hey. Can I even get that guy for that? Yep. Um. I see. I just uh, check around the sides, checking in the main bit for any items because I'm a bit of an item or I feel like I need to hit, grab everything on a playthrough some of those lovely pebbles um okay just got this one over here Bloodstone shards are going to be very handy. Uh, so that's all that side cleared. And then we've got over here, I think we've got another dog maybe. A rifle guy and one of them summoned beasts. Okay. Big trouble. If in doubt, just try and roll away. <laughs> Heal off. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, like, the dogs aren't too bad like those ones. You can usually just, like, back, back step through them. It's just trying to find a, an opening when there's uh, three or four of them at once. This guy is a fucking pain though. Oh my god. But yeah, just like the ones in uh, in Yarnum. Uh, the Yarnumites that look like uh, Muppets. Um, they've got, they've got that kind of like rage attack, where they can just like chain into you and start and, and kill you from that like attack, kind of rage attack. They're going to like three or four hits. Okay, so I think we've just got two more enemies left in this place. Uh, but I think that's all the items anyway. Uh, yeah, we're good. And then we've got this beast. Lane. 
house. This one, this place is a bit of fun. I like the look of this place. <laughs> it's a bit like a RE4, this place. Full of like crazy old women. Rage people. Oh, at least I killed her. See, so, yeah, I think I've upgraded the weapon enough so I can just kind of two shot these. Makes things a little bit easier, but they do have some fast attacks as well. So you need to watch out for those. Torture device or um, a guillotine. Okay, so I think what we need might be from here. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs> the growling old woman. Uh, I'm just <clears throat> there's a there's an item that I want to get. the hell was that? It sounded like it was coming from down there. Is there anything down there? So maybe I'll come back and try that a bit later. Let's just try and get through this area first. All these mad witches. Hopefully get some more blood vials. Got this guy. But also got other enemies, so let's draw this one back. I mean, like, we can stagger this guy anyway, it's just trying to get in between his attacks. Whoa, that was a lunge. Should have carried on for that. Let's heal up. Like, I probably should be using the, uh, the L1 a little bit more just for some more range. This way. Be careful of those mad hags. Oh, right in the face. I'm getting hit a lot in this one. Is there anything down here? Check in. Didn't uh, leave anything behind. This ogre on. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay behind here because we got the Molotov lady. What the fuck? Pretty sure he should hit me then. Oh, 
where all these groaning sounds coming from. That's what I'm more wor worried about. Ah, it's good though. It creates an atmosphere. That's what I like about this area so much. It kind of. Almost fucked me up. There's a few more of these down here. This guy there is just spied me. This is the the shortcut that we got to earlier. Yeah, where we had the groan. Nope, she hasn't changed her tune. <laughs> to the face. Uh, what's down here? Bone Mario Ash. I've got two mollies left. I oh, so hate it when it does that because of air. Uh, because we're on a different level. Didn't let me do the uh, visceral. Oh, I could have got my. Uh, I think I did manage to get some of my HP back actually from that. And then we go into the barn. Um, I don't think I touched my uh, my brightness level, but this is usually pitch black. Something must have been changed on it. Brightness, it's on five. Why is it so? It's meant to be, it's meant to be like darker than that. Like you're not meant to be able to see the end of that. I mean, it's on five. Standard default stuff. Oh well. Yeah, should be careful of uh, that woman there. She will jump out and grab you. Oh shit. And the dog. Oh, what else have we got? We've probably got a few more surprises around here. Hey. I was just trying to think, like, maybe I could get one of these off. But it's not working out <laughs> so far. Um, the worst bit is I can't really target it. It's just... Oh, come on. Here we go. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? 
uh, just because I wanted to run in and get that uh, that thing. Yeah, the shard beast. Small blood eyes. Um, so if we go, if we turn around and go down these stairs, can walk across these platforms. Get ambushed by this guy. It's more man man's knowledge. Okay. Is there anything else that looks like another? I think that's it. another area I think that area over there is Kanehurst I could be wrong looks like it just from the direction sneaky Something died. And that was almost me. Fuck. One of a dog. A crazy woman. Any more surprises? Uh, I think there's one more surprise. <laughs> She got me on the first time around this. Just was running through, she grabbed me. You know how it is. Okay. Just uh, head around here and open the uh, open the truck up before anything else happens. And then we've got these beasts, um, like, uh, uh, these guys, I guess that these guys aren't too hard and they get absolutely battered by them. Um, but yeah, just finding an opening with these guys, you can hit them and you'll probably bounce off them, but if you attack at the right They hit hard. Can we parry as well? I think we can. But yeah, you gotta be quick. Whoa! Even that can hurt. But it, like, they really give you time to rest upon this one. Here we go. Oh, fuck. 
We got it. Um, but yeah, I, I forgot how I've done these last time. I think you can uh, attack just before they do, and you might stagger them, but they take a lot of damage. Let's try and get one on this guy. Might just be a case of running up and hitting. Nope. I don't know what happened. No idea what went wrong. But there is an easier way to take those guys out. I'm just can't remember what it is right now. Um, and then we're going down here. This bit can be a little bit of a problem. Can't even lock onto these. Uh, well, there's gonna be like four hounds. Two to the right, one ahead, two ahead, and then one on the left side. I thought you got my attention then. Uh, I think if you like provoke one of them, you provoke them all. So let's see if we get this guy's attention. A delayed reaction. What does he want? Sheer look, so there's another one somewhere. It hasn't come yet. But yeah, twin bloodstone shards. Very nice. This one's a, t a too far. Oh, fuck. Let's get out of our molly range. Get some more of those uh, weapon gems. I, d I don't think there's any more. I think that might be it. Got five uh, five dogs up down here, and then a crazy Molotov woman. Um, something over here. And then just on the edge, got lake, uh, another Carol ruin. Uh, this transcription of the Great Ones, inhuman voices, ripples, like uh, watery reflection, this rune means lake, and those who memorize it injure reduced physical damage. Great volumes of water serve as a bulwark guarding sleep, and an agua of the eldritch truth. Agua? Agua? Overcome this hindrance and seek white jaws. Okay, nice. So reduce damage if you equip that. Uh, which we will be able to do soon. But yeah, hopefully I can do this bit without uh, without dying. That'll be nice. Anything over there? <clears throat> I've got one or two more enemies to take on though before that. Grab this guy first. With the headbutt. Nice. One pal. Let's go. The wenches are getting closer, man. I think he's stuck. Yep, he's coming. Is like while well off <laughs> these guys. Oh, 
Small blood vials. Just, just gonna wait for my attacks on these. I still get hit. Ah, oh, she's coming! Let's see what I'm gone. Left to back up here. There was another one, right? The hammer. The hammer lady. Maybe I killed her. See you. Oh, didn't see you. Some more materials. Very nice. Um, so yeah, I'm here. I might as well try and take out this boss. So this one is the uh, the Witch of Hemwick. Um, so there is a thing for this. I'm not sure like how these guys are the same as before. Kind of how you can kind of stun them. Um, uh, but yeah, there's actually two witches in this room. We've got a health bar for one. Where is the other one at? Maybe she's under here. I feel like she's gotta be. Hear some footsteps. But yeah, if you take the health down of one witch. Uh, of the bar to a like, certain amount. I think it's like a quarter health left. Uh, both of the bars of the witches appear. Um, but you can hold off and kind of try and find the other witch on the map. And kind of start chipping her down. If you can find her. So they, once you get both of the witches health bars to appear, I'm not going to attack her. Uh, they start doing. There's. I think. Is that her? No, that's the same one. Am I just gonna look like an idiot on this one? <laughs> Am I going wrong? Oh, fuck. Is that the one I want? It's the same one again. Um, I might just have to kill her. She just teleported there. Oh man, I'm doing so bad at this right now. I haven't touched the other witch yet. And it's the same one. Alright, let's just kill. I kill a witch. Ah, oh, there's the one. Nice of you to make an appearance. Uh, we are, also, when we get the other witch, those uh, three of those guys will appear at once. Uh, which just makes it a bit harder. And uh, the witch starts using like stun spells. 
Okay, so that's her down. Oh, fuck. Uh, so we get stunned and these, uh, these things go crazy. They start following us and they... Yeah, if we get trapped, we die. We just top off here. Can I just... She'll reappear as well and use that uh, spell. But yeah, even if we take them down, they will, um... Oh, here we go. <gasps> she got the grab. I think this is it. This might be over. Especially when we get, like, bad from everyone. We made it out alive. We've got two health bars now, though. I guess they regenerate. Um, okay. Let's try and do this fairly quickly. Oh, fuck. Get out of there! Let's get that one down again. So yeah, just kind of like run into an area, try and find a witch, hit the witch, keep hitting the witch. And that is pretty much it. Try not to get hit by the uh, magic bolts either. And those guys. Oh, there she is. Nice. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> that didn't go as well as it could have gone. Uh, but yeah, the idea is uh, when you've got... Uh, yeah, like I said, you can see the health bar for one witch. So just kind of uh, try and seek the other witch first and kind of hack her down a bit. So then when you finish off the, the witch with the health bar, the other one's only got a little bit left. Uh, but you know, you can use other things as well, like items to help with that battle. Uh, you can also take out them walking beasts to uh, give it a bit more breathing time. Um, and this is an optional area, but we do get rune workshop tool from this area. Uh, which is a key item. Uh, Rudesmith Carroll, student of Bergenworth, transcribed the inhumane, inhuman utterings of the Great Ones into what are now called Carroll Runes. The hunter who retrieves this workshop tool can etch Carroll Runes into the mind to attain their wondrous strength. Provost Willem would have been proud of Carroll's runes, as they do not rely upon blood in any measure. Um, so now with this item, we can go back to the workshop and use the... Uh, Use the runes, use the carol runes on ourselves to give us some uh, some some power ups. Um, but yeah, nice. That is this area done for now. So just go back to the hunter's dream. Uh, let's see what we can get. Let's put some uh, let's put some runes on. And upgrade our weapon. Yeah, nice, so we just need uh we need bloodstone chunks now to upgrade that even further. Saw cleaver. So this is just a just a standard playthrough. This is just from uh, a normal like new game. We're going with the saw cleaver. Uh, as I said at the start, I think it's the uh, much like the better weapon out of the three. Or not so much the better weapon, but the easiest one to pick up. Um, yeah, let's put some. Let's see if we can get any better gems to put on there as well. 
Uh, so we've got fire attack up. Not that we had fire attack in the first place. Does this... Okay, so this changes. If we put this on there, looks like it changes our attack to fire. Okay, okay. Wait, there's nothing really that's great. Attack versus beast up by 3.2%. So maybe if we go back to this one and swap this out for something, can we just uh, take that off, put it in here. And then we've got that one on there and then we can select a new one for this. So 2.7% uh, attack up. Nope, that's wrong. 0.7%. Uh, yeah, 5.3. Take that 5.3. Okay, that's probably the best I'm going to get right now. Uh, but we can't etch the ruins yet. I wonder we get them. Welcome, what is it? Very well. Let me stand close. Now. Oh, we got five level ups. Uh, hey, Bad Dragons, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a nice weekend. <sighs> Man, you forgot the flame. Uh, so let's dish that out, get that strength to 30. It's more endurance as well. Yeah, that looks alright. That looks pretty good. level of 41 so far Farewell, actually I'm just wondering can we do oh, no we can't use them yet so it has to be an option of the uh, um, in there but at what point Um, okay, so we're going to go and try and get some... <sighs> try and get a tonsil. Try and get a tonsil. Spend these echoes first and then take out some NPCs. Um, how many of those do I have? Alright, let's just buy a whole load of those. All five of them. Just in case. Uh, we're going to go back to the Grand Cathedral. 